Ever felt disrespected and unsure of how to handle the situation? In today's video, we're diving deep into the teachings of Stoicism to uncover 10 powerful lessons for handling disrespect. From understanding the true nature of disrespect to cultivating empathy, patience, and resilience, these stoic insights will empower you to rise above negativity and maintain your inner peace. So, if you're ready to learn how to handle disrespect like a stoic, let's get started. Lesson 1. Avoid taking disrespect as a personal attack. The first lesson in handling disrespect, drawn from the wisdom of stoicism, is to avoid taking it as a personal attack. This concept is rooted in the Stoic belief that people's actions and words are primarily a reflection of their own character, beliefs, and emotions, rather than an accurate representation of who you are. By understanding and internalizing this principle, you can effectively shield yourself from the harmful effects of disrespect and maintain your inner peace. When someone behaves disrespectfully, Imagine their actions as a reflection in a mirror. Just as a mirror reflects an image without absorbing it, you can choose to let the disrespectful behavior bounce off you without allowing it to penetrate your sense of self. This detachment enables you to maintain a clear perspective on the situation and respond rationally, rather than reacting impulsively or defensively. Another essential aspect of avoiding taking disrespect personally is cultivating a sense of self-awareness and understanding your own values and beliefs. By having a clear grasp of your own character and principles, you can more easily recognize when someone's disrespectful behavior does not align with your true self. This clarity can help you maintain your composure and respond in a manner that is consistent with your values, rather than being swayed by the negative actions of others. Developing empathy and compassion for others can also aid in avoiding taking disrespect personally. By attempting to understand the perspective and motivations of the person behaving disrespectfully, you can foster a sense of connection and humanize their actions. This empathetic approach can help you respond with kindness and patience, rather than reacting with anger or resentment. It can serve as a powerful reminder that everyone is fighting their own battles, and that their disrespectful behavior may be a manifestation of their own struggles and insecurities. It is important to note that avoiding taking disrespect personally does not mean passively accepting or tolerating such behavior. Instead, it involves maintaining a clear perspective on the situation and responding in a manner that is consistent with your values and principles. By doing so, you can effectively address the disrespectful behavior without allowing it to undermine your self-worth or emotional well-being. Avoiding taking disrespect personally may involve setting boundaries, assertively communicating your expectations, or seeking support from others. It may also involve engaging in self-reflection to better understand your own reactions and triggers, as well as cultivating a growth mindset that allows you to learn from challenging experiences. By recognizing that people's actions and words are primarily a reflection of their own character and beliefs, you can effectively shield yourself from the harmful effects of disrespect and maintain your inner peace. Cultivating self-awareness, empathy, and compassion can further aid in this process, allowing you to respond to disrespectful behavior with wisdom, patience, and resilience. By mastering this lesson, you can lay a strong foundation for navigating the challenges of disrespect and preserving your emotional well-being. Lesson 2. Understand that you can only control yourself, not others. The Stoic principle of the dichotomy of control is a cornerstone of their philosophy, and it is particularly relevant when dealing with disrespect. The dichotomy of control states that there are certain things in life that are within our control and others that are not. By recognizing and accepting this distinction, we can focus our energy and efforts on the aspects of life that we can influence and cultivate a sense of inner peace and tranquility. When faced with disrespect, it is crucial to remember that you cannot control the actions or words of others. You cannot force someone to treat you with respect or to change their behavior. Attempting to do so will only lead to frustration, anger, and disappointment. Instead, focus on the one thing that you do have control over, your own response. By concentrating on your response to disrespect, you can exercise your agency and make a conscious choice about how you want to react. 
This shift in focus empowers you to take control of the situation and to respond in a way that aligns with your values and principles. As Epictetus famously said, the only thing we have control over is our own mind. By taking responsibility for your own thoughts, emotions, and actions, you can cultivate a sense of inner strength and resilience that will serve you well in the face of disrespect. One practical way to apply the dichotomy of control when dealing with disrespect is to engage in cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring is a process in which you actively challenge and reframe negative thoughts and beliefs, replacing them with more balanced and constructive perspectives. When faced with disrespect, you may find yourself thinking, I can't believe they would treat me like this. It's not fair, and I don't deserve it. While these thoughts are understandable, they can also be unproductive and lead to feelings of anger and resentment. To engage in cognitive restructuring, begin by identifying the negative thoughts and beliefs that are arising in response to the disrespect. Next, challenge these thoughts by asking yourself if they are truly accurate and helpful. In many cases, you will find that your initial thoughts are overly negative or distorted and that there are alternative ways of viewing the situation. Finally, replace the negative thoughts with more balanced and constructive perspectives, such as, while their behavior is hurtful, I cannot control their actions. I can only control my own response, and I choose to respond with calmness and dignity. Another valuable strategy for applying the dichotomy of control when dealing with disrespect is to practice acceptance. Acceptance does not mean condoning or approving of the disrespectful behavior. Rather, it means acknowledging the reality of the situation and choosing to let go of any resistance or attachment to how you think things should be. By accepting that you cannot control the actions of others, you can release any feelings of frustration or anger and focus on responding in a way that aligns with your values and principles. Another technique for cultivating acceptance is to engage in self-compassion. Self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness, understanding, and empathy, especially in times of difficulty or distress. When faced with disrespect, it is important to acknowledge your own pain and to offer yourself comfort and support. By practicing self-compassion, you can create a safe and supportive inner environment that will help you navigate challenging situations with greater ease and resilience. Understanding that you can only control yourself, not others, is a crucial lesson in handling disrespect. By embracing the stoic principle of the dichotomy of control, you can focus your energy and efforts on the aspects of life that are within your control and cultivate a sense of inner peace and tranquility. Through cognitive restructuring, acceptance, mindfulness meditation, and self-compassion, you can develop the skills and mindset needed to respond to disrespect with grace, wisdom, and resilience. Lesson 3. Consider disrespect as a chance for growth. The Stoic philosophy encourages us to view life's challenges as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. When faced with disrespect, it is essential to adopt this mindset and recognize the potential for personal development that lies within the situation. By embracing disrespect as a chance for growth, you can transform a negative experience into a positive one, ultimately strengthening your resilience and character. One of the most valuable skills that can be honed through experiences of disrespect is patience. When faced with disrespectful behavior, it is natural to feel frustrated or annoyed. However, by practicing patience and forbearance, you can learn to endure the situation without allowing it to negatively impact your emotional state. Patience enables you to maintain your composure, respond calmly, and avoid escalating the situation. Disrespectful behavior often stems from a person's own struggles, insecurities, or misunderstandings. By practicing empathy and seeking to understand the motivations behind the disrespect, you can develop a deeper sense of compassion for others. Empathy allows you to see the world from another person's perspective, fostering a greater appreciation for the complexities of human nature. As you cultivate empathy in the face of disrespect, you will find that your interactions with others become more harmonious and understanding. Experiencing disrespect can serve as a humbling reminder of our own imperfections and limitations. 
By acknowledging and accepting our vulnerabilities, we can cultivate humility and self-awareness. Humility encourages us to recognize that we are not infallible and that there is always room for improvement. Self-awareness, on the other hand, allows us to identify our own weaknesses and work towards overcoming them. By embracing disrespect as an opportunity to cultivate humility and self-awareness, you can foster personal growth and become a more well-rounded individual. Encountering disrespect can also provide an opportunity to develop assertiveness and learn how to set healthy boundaries. Assertiveness involves expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs in a clear, respectful manner, while also respecting the rights and opinions of others. By setting boundaries, you communicate your limits and expectations to others, helping to prevent future instances of disrespect. Developing assertiveness and boundary-setting skills can empower you to navigate difficult situations with confidence and poise. Disrespectful behavior often leads to conflict, which can be a valuable learning experience in itself. By approaching conflicts as opportunities for growth, you can develop and refine your conflict resolution and communication skills. Effective conflict resolution involves active listening, empathy, and open-mindedness, as well as the ability to express your thoughts and feelings clearly and respectfully. By honing these skills, you can foster healthier, more productive relationships with others. Experiencing disrespect can serve as a reminder to appreciate the kindness and respect that we do receive from others. By cultivating gratitude, you can foster a more positive outlook on life and strengthen your relationships with those who treat you with respect and compassion. As you learn to view disrespect as an opportunity for growth, you can simultaneously develop a deeper sense of gratitude for the positive experiences and interactions in your life. Embracing disrespect as a chance for growth is a powerful way to transform negative experiences into valuable learning opportunities. By cultivating patience, empathy, humility, assertiveness, conflict resolution skills, forgiveness, and gratitude, you can emerge from encounters with disrespect stronger and more resilient than before. Lesson 4. Counter with Kindness and Empathy The art of responding to disrespect with kindness and empathy is a powerful tool in the Stoic's arsenal. It is a practice that requires patience, understanding, and a deep commitment to the virtues of compassion and forgiveness. When faced with disrespect, it is natural to feel hurt, anger, or a desire for retribution. By consciously choosing to respond with kindness and empathy, you can transform the situation and demonstrate your strength of character. Kindness can serve as a shield, protecting you from the negativity that often accompanies disrespect. When you respond with kindness, you create a barrier between yourself and the other person's behavior, preventing their actions from affecting your emotional well-being. Moreover, kindness can disarm those who seek to harm or provoke you, as they may not expect such a response. Seneca, in his writings, noted the power of kindness as a shield. Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for a kindness. By seizing these opportunities, even in the face of disrespect, you can maintain your composure and preserve your inner peace. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. When faced with disrespect, practicing empathy can help you build a bridge between yourself and the other person, fostering a connection that transcends the negative behavior. By attempting to see the situation from their perspective, you can gain valuable insights into the factors that may be contributing to their actions. This understanding can help you respond more effectively and compassionately, potentially diffusing the situation and promoting reconciliation. Forgiveness is an essential component of responding to disrespect with kindness and empathy. To forgive is to release any lingering anger or resentment, allowing yourself to move forward with a clear mind and a peaceful heart. Forgiveness does not mean condoning or excusing the disrespectful behavior, but rather choosing to let go of the negative emotions that can hold you captive. By embracing forgiveness, you can complete your own education in the art of handling disrespect. Countering disrespect with kindness and empathy is a powerful stoic practice that can lead to personal growth, conflict resolution, and stronger relationships. 
By embracing forgiveness and cultivating a compassionate mindset, you can transform challenging situations into opportunities for connection and understanding. Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. Lesson 5. Maintain Calmness and Composure In the face of disrespect, maintaining calmness and composure is a powerful tool for managing the situation effectively. The Stoics recognized the importance of self-control and emotional regulation, emphasizing the need to remain steadfast and composed even when confronted with adversity. By cultivating a calm and collected demeanor, you can respond to disrespect thoughtfully and rationally, rather than allowing your emotions to dictate your actions. The importance of maintaining calmness and composure is rooted in the Stoic concept of proheresis, which refers to one's ability to make rational choices and exercise control over their own actions. When faced with disrespect, it is crucial to exercise proheresis by focusing on your own thoughts and emotions, rather than being swayed by the actions of others. By doing so, you can maintain your composure and respond in a manner that aligns with your values and virtues. Strategy for maintaining calmness and composure is to practice the stoic technique of premeditatio malorum, or the premeditation of evils. This exercise involves contemplating potential adversities and setbacks in order to mentally prepare for them. By regularly considering the possibility of encountering disrespect or other challenges, you can develop a more resilient mindset and become better equipped to handle such situations with grace and poise. Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. By embracing challenges as opportunities for growth and maintaining a calm demeanor, you can demonstrate your inner strength and resilience. Maintaining calmness and composure in the face of disrespect can have a powerful impact on the other person involved. By responding calmly and rationally, you can potentially disarm the situation and prevent it from escalating further. Your composed demeanor may even encourage the other person to reflect on their own behavior and consider alternative ways of communicating. Maintaining calmness and composure in the face of disrespect is a crucial aspect of handling such situations effectively. By focusing on your own thoughts and emotions, practicing stoic mindfulness, and mentally preparing for adversity, you can cultivate a resilient mindset and respond to disrespect with grace and wisdom. The ability to remain calm and composed in challenging situations not only demonstrates your inner strength, but can also have a powerful impact on the other person involved, potentially diffusing the situation and promoting more positive interactions. Lesson 6. Concentrate on living with virtue, not on others' views. The Stoics believe that the ultimate goal in life is to live in accordance with the four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and self-discipline. By cultivating these virtues and incorporating them into our daily lives, we can develop a strong, resilient character that is capable of withstanding the storms of disrespect and adversity. Wisdom, the first of the cardinal virtues, involves the cultivation of discernment, understanding, and good judgment. When faced with disrespect, wisdom enables us to see the situation for what it truly is and respond in a measured, rational manner. By focusing on wisdom, we can separate ourselves from the emotions and impulses that often cloud our judgment and lead to hasty, regrettable actions. Courage, the second cardinal virtue, is the ability to face adversity and challenge with strength and resolve. When confronted with disrespect, courage empowers us to stand up for ourselves and our values, even in the face of opposition. By focusing on courage, we can develop the fortitude to face disrespect head-on, rather than allowing it to undermine our confidence and self-worth. Justice, the third cardinal virtue, involves the pursuit of fairness, equality, and moral righteousness. When faced with disrespect, justice encourages us to treat others with respect and dignity, even if they have not extended the same courtesy to us. By focusing on justice, we can ensure that our actions align with our values and contribute to a more harmonious, equitable world. Self-discipline, the fourth and final cardinal virtue, is the ability to control our thoughts, emotions, and actions in pursuit of a higher purpose. When faced with disrespect, 
Self-discipline enables us to maintain our composure and respond calmly rather than succumbing to anger or frustration. By focusing on self-discipline, we can cultivate a strong, resilient character that is capable of weathering any storm. By concentrating on these virtues and living a life that embodies them, we can find true happiness and fulfillment, independent of external validation. As Marcus Aurelius wisely noted, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. When we prioritize living a virtuous life over seeking the approval of others, we can break free from the shackles of public opinion and forge our own path. Focusing on virtue allows us to maintain our self-respect and dignity in the face of disrespect. By living in accordance with our values and principles, we demonstrate to ourselves and others that we are worthy of respect, regardless of how others may treat us. This unshakable sense of self-worth provides a strong foundation for navigating the challenges and adversities of life with grace and resilience. Lesson 7. Refrain from fueling anger or resentment. Resentment is a corrosive emotion that can consume your thoughts and prevent you from moving forward. The Stoics believe that the best way to overcome resentment is through forgiveness. By choosing to forgive those who have disrespected you, you can release the emotional burden of resentment and cultivate a sense of inner peace. To accuse others for one's own misfortune is a sign of want of education. To accuse oneself shows that one's education has begun. To accuse neither oneself nor others shows that one's education is complete. Another strategy for managing anger and resentment is to focus on gratitude. By actively acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of your life, you can counterbalance the negative emotions that arise from disrespect. Practicing gratitude can help you maintain a broader perspective on your experiences and foster a greater sense of contentment and well-being. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Disrespect may be a recurring issue, stemming from a challenging relationship or difficult work environment. In these situations, it is essential to establish healthy boundaries to protect yourself from further emotional harm. Setting boundaries involves communicating your needs and expectations clearly and assertively, while also respecting the needs and expectations of others. By establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries, you can minimize the potential for disrespectful interactions and create a more harmonious environment. It is important to recognize that managing anger and resentment is an ongoing process that requires practice and patience. The Stoics understood that personal growth is a lifelong journey, and mastering one's emotions is no exception. Be gentle with yourself as you work to cultivate a more balanced and resilient emotional landscape. Remember that progress is not always linear, and setbacks are a natural part of the learning process. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Lesson 8. Understand that disrespect cannot damage your character. To understand that disrespect cannot damage your character, it is crucial to recognize the distinction between your inner self and the external world. Your inner self, or your character, is the domain over which you have complete control. It is the sanctuary where your virtues, values, and beliefs reside untouched and unblemished by the vicissitudes of life. The external world, on the other hand, encompasses everything beyond your control, including the actions and words of others. When someone treats you disrespectfully, it is essential to remember that their behavior is a reflection of their own character, not a reflection of your worth. By internalizing this understanding, you can effectively insulate your inner self from the negativity of the external world. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. By choosing to view disrespect as an external event that cannot penetrate the fortress of your character, you can maintain your inner peace and integrity. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. By nurturing positive thoughts and cultivating virtuous habits, you can fortify your character against the onslaught of disrespect and maintain your inner serenity. It is essential to recognize that the power to damage your character ultimately lies within you. 
When faced with disrespect, it is your choice whether to allow the negative behavior to affect your inner self or to rise above it. Lesson 9. Practice Stoic Mindfulness Stoic mindfulness is an essential practice for managing disrespect and cultivating inner peace. It involves being fully present in the moment, observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment, and maintaining a clear, objective perspective on your experiences. By developing your capacity for stoic mindfulness, you can enhance your ability to handle disrespect with grace and wisdom. An essential aspect of stoic mindfulness is emotional regulation, which involves managing your emotions in a healthy, constructive manner. When confronted with disrespect, it is crucial to avoid becoming overwhelmed by your emotions. Instead, take a moment to acknowledge your feelings and then consciously choose how to respond. By practicing emotional regulation, you can maintain your composure and respond to disrespect with wisdom and poise. Detachment is another key component of stoic mindfulness. It involves maintaining a sense of emotional distance from your thoughts and experiences, allowing you to observe them objectively without becoming overly attached or reactive. When faced with disrespect, practice detachment by taking a step back and viewing the situation from a broader perspective. This can help you gain valuable insights and respond more effectively without becoming consumed by your emotions. Stoic mindfulness emphasizes the importance of focusing on the present moment. When confronted with disrespect, it can be tempting to dwell on past grievances or worry about future consequences. By focusing on the present moment, you can stay grounded and respond to disrespect with clarity and purpose. Regular reflection is an essential part of stoic mindfulness. By setting aside time to reflect on your thoughts, emotions, and experiences, you can gain valuable insights and cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. When faced with disrespect, take the time to reflect on the situation and consider what you can learn from it. This can help you develop a more nuanced perspective and respond more effectively in the future. To truly reap the benefits of stoic mindfulness, it is essential to incorporate it into your daily life. This can involve practicing mindfulness meditation, engaging in mindful activities such as yoga or tai chi, or simply taking a few moments each day to focus on your breath and observe your thoughts and emotions. By making mindfulness a regular part of your life, you can cultivate a strong, resilient mindset that is well-equipped to handle disrespect and other challenges. By cultivating self-awareness, developing emotional regulation, practicing detachment, focusing on the present moment, engaging in regular reflection, and incorporating mindfulness into your daily life, you can transform your perspective on disrespect and develop a strong, resilient character. Lesson 10. Reflect on the origin and circumstances of the disrespect. Disrespectful behavior may be the result of miscommunication or misunderstanding. When reflecting on a disrespectful encounter, it is important to examine your own role in the situation and consider whether there is anything you could have done differently. By taking responsibility for your own actions and words, you can learn from the experience and make necessary changes to prevent similar situations from occurring in the future. This process of self-reflection is essential for personal growth and fostering healthier relationships. Reflecting on past experiences of disrespect can provide valuable insights and lessons for the future. By identifying patterns and common themes in your encounters with disrespect, you can develop strategies for handling similar situations more effectively. For example, if you notice that you frequently encounter disrespect in a specific context, such as at work or in a particular social group, you may need to reassess your boundaries or consider making changes to your environment. Reflecting on past experiences can help you develop a more resilient mindset. By recognizing your own strength and ability to overcome adversity, you can cultivate a sense of inner confidence and self-assurance. This resilience will serve you well in future encounters with disrespect, enabling you to maintain your composure and respond with wisdom and grace. An essential aspect of reflection and introspection is the cultivation of patience and forgiveness. When faced with disrespect, it is important to allow yourself time to process your emotions and gain a clearer perspective on the situation. 
by practicing patience, you can respond to disrespect in a measured, thoughtful manner, rather than reacting impulsively. Forgiveness is another crucial element of reflection and introspection. Holding on to anger and resentment can be emotionally damaging and hinder your personal growth. By practicing forgiveness, you can release these negative emotions and move forward with a clear mind and a peaceful heart. It is important to note that forgiveness does not necessarily mean condoning the disrespectful behavior or absolving the other person of responsibility. Self-awareness is a key component of Stoic philosophy and plays a vital role in handling disrespect. By cultivating a deep understanding of your own thoughts, emotions, and motivations, you can respond to disrespectful situations with greater clarity and wisdom. Self-awareness also enables you to recognize and manage your own triggers and emotional reactions, preventing you from becoming overwhelmed or acting impulsively. By understanding the motivations behind disrespect, examining your own role in the situation, and learning from past experiences, you can develop strategies for responding more effectively and fostering healthier relationships. Cultivating patience, forgiveness, and self-awareness can help you navigate disrespectful encounters with grace and resilience, ultimately promoting personal growth and inner peace. By avoiding taking disrespect personally, focusing on what you can control, and viewing challenges as opportunities for growth, you can cultivate a strong, unshakable character. By incorporating these 10 stoic lessons into your life, you can transform your perspective on disrespect and cultivate an unwavering inner peace.